Welcome, let's take a look at the formation of a waterfall. Step one. As the river travels from its source to its mouth along its long profile, it will encounter different layers of rock, some tougher and more resistant and less likely to erode, and some which are softer and more likely to erode. So there it is, there's the river flowing over our layers of rock, and the top layer in this example is the tougher, more resistant rock, so less likely to erode. And the bottom layer there is our less resistant and softer rock which is more likely to erode through abrasion and hydraulic action. Step two. So the river will continue to flow over our layers of rock. And what will happen over time is the less resistant rock will begin to erode more than our tougher, more resistant rock at the top. So there we go, there's the undercutting. This is where the softer, less resistant rock is eroded more than the tougher rock at the top. And what this will create is a plunge pool at the bottom of our waterfall where the erosional processes are most significant. Step three. So the undercutting of the tougher, more resistant rock continues and it will continue until the less resistant rock has a bit of an overhang and we call this overhang the ledge or the ledge of the waterfall. And the bit that I've just circled there over time will collapse because the softer rock will not be able to hold the weight of this tougher, more resistant rock and gravity will take effect. Step four. Now this is just a repeat of steps one, two and three where the tougher, more resistant rock is less eroded than the softer rock and if this keeps happening and this collapse of the ledge keeps taking place, the waterfall will begin to retreat up the river's course until a gouge in the landscape is formed and we call this a gorge. 